So for today, we're going to be looking at Zer specifically. We're going to be looking at what he's selling. And this is going to be a little bit more different than previous Zer videos, just because I want to make it a little bit faster because previously we would go through all of the armor sets or pieces and look at what like the stats were. I'm just going to show you a fat picture of what all of them are. And if you guys are interested, pick them up because really, honestly, this is just going to be mostly about the armor sets because that's really what I care about. Cause there usually does not sell really good armor pieces. So after we look at the armor, we're going to be looking at the weapons, exotics and whatnot. So this is going to be a little bit more different. Let me know what you guys think about the format. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the Lightkin armor. This is a very famous armor set because for, at least from my comments, everyone and their mom keeps asking for this armor. When is it coming back? How do I farm it? So this is your chance. Not only will I make this video, but I will also make another video, your last call video, where essentially it's basically this, but I showcase all the cool stuff that all the vendors are selling this week. And then that's your last chance. So for this armor, I'm going to get started. The hunters, I think have some really cool pieces. The cloak is super dope. The arms are super dope and the chest piece is super dope. The only piece I'm not the biggest fan of is the helmet and maybe the boots. Uh, the boots, I can see myself using them, but the helmet for sure, I'm not the biggest fan of. But like the boots, now that I think about it, the boots are pretty trash as well. Uh, and it's funny because I used to not like the chest piece, but I use in really cool like electrical sets now. So that's why I, I like it now. But yeah, I think the strongest pieces for the hunters is going to be the chest piece, arms and cloak. Titans, man, I think damn near everything is trash except the chest piece and the arms. I think those two really save this set for me because the helmet trash, the boots trash, the mark. It's not trash, but it's damn near trash. Um, the arms super cool. You can definitely combine them with a lot of really cool pieces, especially if you combine it with other fur, uh, chess pieces, then it's going to be really cool. The chess piece has some, a really cool fur, uh, on the neck and on the back as well. So it's really cool. The only unfortunate part is that the plates on the middle, specifically the left and side plates, uh, are different colors. So they will shade her differently. And then warlocks. I'm be real with you. The arms are super dope. The chest piece is super dope. The boots are super dope. And that's pretty much it. The helmet, I'm not the biggest fan of. I think the bond's also pretty cool, but it's also basic. So you can, it's one of those like either take it or leave it type of situations. But I still like it for what it is. But I'm be real. The chest piece is literally what makes this whole set for me just look amazing because the chest piece is legitimately legitimately the best piece you definitely need to pick it up if you're a warlock main or if you play your warlock a little bit you definitely need this chest piece just because it's that good it's so so good so as for the rolls that Zer is selling i'm going to show you guys right here not the biggest fan of a lot of these uh some of these don't even hit 60 which is sad uh and even the ones that do hit 60 like the titan helmet and the warlock helmet the rolls are not that great. The the warlock helmet specifically is at 19 mobility, which is damn near disgusting. The chest piece for the warlock does hit a 20 for resilience, so that's pretty cool. But a two on recovery, which is pretty terrible. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan. If if you see anything that's 10 and above for mobility for warlocks or titans, then just skip it because that's way too much. And the hunters, I'm going to be real with you. I think the only good one is the chest piece for the hunters, just because it's a natural 19, which is really nice. And that's really it. Actually, I don't know. It's really hard. I usually never really get excited for rolls for Zerg just because most of the time they are pretty trash. As for the weapons, we're going to be looking at true prophecy with opening shot and rampage, which is really interesting and accurate accurate rounds. Oh shit. And super shot. Just, okay. I damn, if, if this was a range master work, I would have been really, really interested. Um, I probably won't pick this up just because I have an opening shot and like, uh, what is it? Time payload. I think it is. So I'm good on that. I might get it just because of rampage, but we'll see grid skipper with killing wind and high impact. Wait, was it? Yeah. High impact reserves, which is not, Ooh, Ooh. Ugh, high impact reserves on this rapid frame. I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, cause I have one with high impact reserves. Ooh, that, that mag, no, wait. 
Oh, I thought that was 65 mag. I was about to say, like, yo, that's fucking wild. Mm. 44. Yeah, it's fine. 22. Uh, farewell with auto. Mm, I just immediately ignore this one because full auto is sad considering we already have full auto in the game tr intrinsically. So this you just only have adrenaline junkie in this one. I close with grave robber and trench barrel. This is actually pretty good. Uh, like actually, because grave robber is going to be proccing with trench barrel most of the time. Um, actually, no, that's I'm sorry. I'm thinking about something else. This is this is wrong. Um, because <laughs> trench barrel, you're going to be killing stuff with your shotgun instead of punching stuff, unless the one punch that you need to activate trench barrel proc like actually kills the enemy, then you'll proc grave robber. But it probably it probably won't be that annoying considering most of the time you're going to be killing stuff like majors and shit with this so you just kill like something small to, yeah i don't know this is definitely a more of a uh you have to actually think to use these two but i don't know far future quick draw and uh frenzy i'm not a big fan of frenzy to be quite honest with you especially on a sniper rifle um yeah i'm gonna ignore this we have who's gal with snapshot sights and quick draw that's that's pretty foul um Ugh, I would pick this up because this would be nasty in PvP just because not only am I, I going to get this weapon out faster, but I'm going to be aiming it faster, even though some people would argue, why would you aim with it? Nightwatch, subsistence moving target, which is, uh, eh, very much, eh. And then Hawkmoon with opening shot. Um, uh, not, not, a, not mad about this one. Eh. And then uh, Dead Man's Tale with Subsistence. I would actually tell you to pick this one up. Subsistence on Dead Man's Tale is really nice. And then for the stuff up here, Crimson, which, man, we do not need more people using Crimson. Crimson is such an annoying fucking gun. <laughs> but you can use it. And uh, yeah, I mean, I want to use this gun. But in, for me, it doesn't feel nice in uh, mouse and keyboard. The Bombardiers. Uh, ooh. <laughs> I would most likely get these and then just go all the way with resilience so a 22 mobility and 20 resilience would be pretty nice or you could do discipline or intellect i mean uh 2020 20, that'd be that'd be pretty nice especially if you master work it'd be 24 22 that's pretty good I and mean, then just get get something that has really high recovery to like equal it out ashen wake oof 12 mobility i'm so sorry this could have been good if that 12 was on recovery this would have been foul still pick it up it's still good um, cause you get 22 discipline and 18 resilience. So I would probably just bump up that resilience a little bit more or bump up the recovery. So that way you don't need as much to regain that recovery. And then wings of sacred dawn, which if you don't have it, might as well pick it up. But if you do have it, you can ignore this one easily. Let's see what I'm actually going to get this week. Um, crown of man, I really need to. So I do want to make a video on this because I do think the loadout system as good as it is, has made this a problem for me. Like all of these are just loadout stuff that I have over here. Like it's really annoying. So I definitely do want to make a video on that. So, Ooh, Ooh, what the fuck? Okay. Um, mm, okay. So this is what I just got. Um, 15, Ooh, this could be meta as fuck for me. Hold on, hold on. What's what's my actual one? So my actual one. Ooh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, which one? Fuck. Which one can I put away? I think I can put away this one. I think. Maybe. We'll see. I mean, don't matter really. Um, we're gonna. The video's over. You get you guys can leave. This is just me like wanting to use this right now so if you want to see how my build crafting goes uh there you are let me see so this is pretty good so my my regular build is 100 151 with this one oof it's very unfortunate um actually do I mind that? I don't know if I mind it. I'm going to keep it because that's still really good rolls. Yeah, because this is going to hit 17. So that's going to be a 50 already. Uh, 
I'm going to keep it just in case. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Be safe and I will see you guys later.